The Tonight Show starring Johnny Carson was a groundbreaking late-night program that aired for many years, setting the stage for the talk shows we know today. However, it wasn't without its issues, including controversial jokes, personal matters involving the actor, and disagreements with guests. Let's delve into some of the challenges faced by this classic show. In 1987, Johnny Carson, the well-known actor and host, tied the knot for the fourth time with Alexis Mass. The couple's honeymoon in Italy was meant to be a romantic getaway, but it turned out to be a memorable experience for an unexpected reason. Johnny, who was known for his humor and wit, was in a bad mood during their honeymoon. In front of others, he told Alexis that if she said anything he didn't like again, their marriage wouldn't last three more weeks. This outburst took everyone by surprise and left a lasting impression on those who witnessed it. Despite this incident, Johnny and Alexis remained married until Johnny's death in 2005. It is unclear whether this incident had any long-term impact on their relationship, but it is certainly a testament to the complex and sometimes unpredictable nature of marriage. The honeymoon incident serves as a reminder that even the most successful and beloved public figures are not immune to the challenges and ups and downs of marriage. It also highlights the importance of communication and understanding in any relationship and the potential consequences of letting frustration and anger get the best of us. Johnny Carson, the beloved actor and host of The Tonight Show, was a father of three sons with his first wife. Among his sons, Rick, the second oldest, struggled with mental illness throughout his life. Despite Rick's struggles, Johnny never visited him during his stays in mental institutions. The relationship between Johnny and Rick was a tumultuous one. In October 1987, an explosive fight broke out between them at NBC's 25th anniversary party. The argument escalated quickly, with Johnny nearly throwing a punch at his son. Fortunately, onlookers intervened and pulled Johnny away before any physical harm could be done. The tension between them was palpable, and the party's attendees couldn't help but notice the heated exchange. It was a stark contrast to the lighthearted and entertaining atmosphere that Johnny typically brought to his show. Tragically, Rick died in a car accident in 1991. His death was a devastating loss for Johnny, and it marked the end of a difficult and complicated relationship between father and son. Despite their struggles, Rick's memory lived on in the hearts of his family and friends, serving as a reminder of the challenges that some families face in dealing with mental illness. In 1982, a troubling incident occurred in the life of actor Johnny Carson. He was taken into custody for driving under the influence, which resulted in a sentence of three years probation and mandatory attendance at an alcohol treatment program. This event marked a significant turning point in his personal life, highlighting the challenges that sometimes accompany fame and success. Several years earlier, in 1977, Carson had participated in an interview with 60 Minutes, during which he openly discussed his struggles with alcohol. Regrettably, the conversation did not go well, leaving both Carson and the audience feeling uncomfortable. Despite this setback, the interview served as a reminder of the importance of seeking help when needed and addressing one's personal demons. Throughout his career, the actor remained committed to his craft, overcoming obstacles and learning from past mistakes. His story serves as an example of resilience and determination, demonstrating that even those who face adversity can still achieve greatness in their chosen field. Today, Carson's legacy continues to resonate with audiences, inspiring future generations of performers to strive for excellence while maintaining awareness of the potential pitfalls that come with fame. Johnny Carson's marriage to his second wife, Joanne Copeland, was fraught with challenges. The couple tied the knot in the 1960s, but their relationship was plagued with problems that eventually led to their divorce in 1972. Despite their issues, Joanne played a significant role in preserving Johnny's television legacy. One of the most troubling aspects of their marriage was the allegation that Joanne had an affair with Frank Gifford. According to Johnny's former agent, Henry Bushkin, in his 2013 book, Johnny believed the rumor and went to great lengths to find proof. The affair allegations added to the strain in their already troubled marriage, making it impossible for them to continue their relationship. The actor's marriage to Joanne was his second of four marriages. His first marriage to Jody Walcott ended in divorce in 1963, and his third marriage to Joanna Holland lasted only three years, from 1972 to 1975. His fourth and final marriage to Alexis Mass lasted from 1987 until his death in 25. Throughout his career, Johnny Carson was known for his charm, wit, and humor. He hosted The Tonight Show for 30 years, becoming one of the most beloved figures in American television history. 
Despite his personal struggles, he remained a consummate professional, delivering a top-notch performance every night. In conclusion, Johnny Carson's marriage to Joanne Copeland was a tumultuous one, marked by allegations of infidelity and ultimately ending in divorce. However, despite their issues, Joanne played a crucial role in preserving Johnny's television legacy. The actor's personal life was often complex, but his professional achievements remain a testament to his enduring talent and appeal. In 1948, the actor Johnny Carson tied the knot with his first wife, Jody Mara Walcott. However, their union was far from smooth sailing. After years of marital strife, they eventually decided to part ways in 1962. Despite their tumultuous past, Jody remained a significant figure in Carson's life until her passing in 2015. Throughout his career, the actor worked alongside numerous celebrities, including Bob Hope. But despite their professional collaborations, Carson could not abide by Hope's personality. Hope grappled with both hearing and eyesight difficulties, which made working with him challenging for Carson. Moreover, he found Hope's reliance on scripted jokes grating, preferring more spontaneous humor. Despite these frustrations, Carson continued to invite Hope onto his shows due to the latter's popularity among audiences. By keeping Hope on the program, Carson ensured consistently high viewership numbers, prioritizing success over personal preferences. This dynamic highlights the complex relationships between television stars during this classic era, where artistic differences were sometimes set aside for commercial gain. Nonetheless, it remains clear that even though Carson extended hospitality towards Hope, he never quite warmed up to him personally. Johnny Carson, the beloved actor and host of The Tonight Show, was known for his charm and wit, but he also had a reputation for being a womanizer. His infidelity put a strain on his third marriage, and he tried to make amends by showering his wife with extravagant gifts. However, his wandering eye ultimately led to the end of the marriage. Carson's personal problems went beyond his romantic relationships. He often blamed his mother, Ruth, for his failed marriages and cold demeanor. Carson's relationship with his mother was strained, and he didn't even attend her funeral. When asked about his absence, he simply said, the wicked witch is dead. Despite his success and fame, Carson struggled with personal demons throughout his life. His womanizing ways and strained relationship with his mother took a toll on his personal life. But even with his flaws, Carson will always be remembered as one of the greatest television hosts of all time. Johnny Carson, the beloved host of The Tonight Show, was known for his quick wit and sharp humor. However, his jokes sometimes crossed the line, leading to conflicts with guests. One recurring target of his jokes was weight, and this led to conflicts with guests like Raymond Burr, who refused to appear on the show after 1976 due to the actor's insensitive jokes. Another guest who found himself in the crosshairs of Carson's humor was Wayne Newton. The actor had a long-running feud with the singer, which was exacerbated when Newton's group bought the Aladdin Hotel. Carson was angered by this purchase and made several mean-spirited jokes about Newton on the show. Despite the actor's popularity, his insensitive jokes and feuds with guests like Newton and Burr were a source of controversy. They highlighted the fine line that humor can walk between being entertaining and being hurtful. Carson's jokes about Newton, in particular, received a lot of attention and added fuel to their high-profile feud. The actor's remarks were often met with criticism from those who felt that they were unkind and unnecessary. In the end, Carson's legacy as a legendary talk show host is undeniable. However, his insensitive jokes and feuds with guests like Newton and Burr serve as a reminder of the potential harm that humor can cause when it is not used responsibly. Johnny Carson, the beloved actor and talk show host, found himself at the center of two heated feuds during his career. First, musician Wayne Newton accused Johnny of being mean-spirited towards him. In an appearance on Larry King Live, Newton expressed his displeasure and even went so far as to threaten to physically fight Johnny if he didn't put an end to the unkind jokes. This ultimatum ultimately brought the feud to a close. But while one conflict came to an end, another was just brewing. Johnny had a strong distaste for Tom Snyder, host of The Tomorrow Show. He often referred to Snyder as a talentless boor, and these harsh feelings would sometimes lead to public displays of anger. After having a few drinks, Johnny couldn't help but let his true thoughts about Snyder be known. These outbursts were documented by those who witnessed them firsthand. Despite their professional rivalries, it serves as a reminder that celebrities are human too, capable of holding grudges and expressing negative emotions just like anyone else. Johnny Carson, the beloved actor and host of The Tonight Show, had a few notable feuds and dislikes throughout his career. 
One of his least favorite guests was Bob Hope. Hope's reliance on scripted jokes and lack of genuine conversation often frustrated Carson. The actor preferred guests who could engage in spontaneous and natural conversation rather than relying on rehearsed material. Despite their professional relationship, Carson and Hope's differing approaches to humor led to a strained dynamic between the two. Carson's dislike for scripted jokes may have stemmed from his own natural comedic abilities, which allowed him to excel in improvisation and ad-libbing. Another notable feud in Carson's career was with comedian Joan Rivers. After Rivers got her own talk show, which aired at the same time as The Tonight Show, Carson stopped speaking to her. The two never reconciled and their falling out was a significant one in the world of classic television. Rivers' decision to start her own show was a bold move, but it ultimately led to the end of her relationship with Carson. The actor was reportedly hurt and angered by her decision as he had helped her career and given her a platform on his show. Despite these feuds and disagreements, Carson's impact on the world of television and comedy is undeniable. His natural comedic abilities and genuine conversation style made him a beloved figure in the industry. Even today, his legacy continues to resonate with audiences and inspire new generations of comedians. Johnny Carson, the beloved host of The Tonight Show, was not without controversy during his career. In her book, Joan Rivers claimed to have had an affair with Johnny while she was still married to her husband, Edgar Rosenberg. This revelation may have contributed to the falling out between Joan and Johnny, who were once close friends. In addition to personal controversies, Johnny was also responsible for a national panic in December 1973. During a monologue on The Tonight Show, he joked about an impending toilet paper shortage. This joke sparked a wave of panic buying, causing a real shortage that lasted for several weeks. Johnny later apologized for his joke, acknowledging that it had caused unnecessary stress and inconvenience for many people. Despite these controversies, Johnny Carson's legacy as a legendary talk show host remains unblemished. His wit, charm, and ability to connect with audiences made him a beloved figure in American television. The Tonight Show with Johnny Carson became a cultural institution, and his impact on the entertainment industry is still felt today. Through it all, Johnny Carson remained a private and enigmatic figure. He was known for his cool demeanor and dry sense of humor, and he rarely shared personal details about his life with the public. Even in the face of controversy, he remained a consummate professional, always focused on delivering a great show for his audience. In the end, Johnny Carson's legacy is one of enduring excellence and unforgettable entertainment. His contributions to American television will be remembered for generations to come. And while he may have been involved in personal scandals and caused national panics, his talent and charisma shone through, making him one of the most beloved figures in television history. Johnny Carson, born October 23, 1925, in Corning, Iowa, was a legendary figure in the world of television. He is best known for hosting The Tonight Show on NBC from 1962 to 1992, a record-breaking tenure that solidified his status as a cultural icon. Carson's career in show business began in radio, where he honed his skills as a comedian and impressionist. In the 1950s, he transitioned to television, hosting a variety of programs before landing the coveted spot as the host of The Tonight Show. During his time on the show, Carson became a household name, known for his quick wit, sharp humor, and ability to make audiences laugh. He was a master of improvisation, often ad-libbing his monologues and interviews, which endeared him to viewers and made the show a must-watch for millions of Americans. Carson's impact on popular culture cannot be overstated. He introduced audiences to a wide range of comedians, musicians, and actors, many of whom went on to have successful careers of their own. He also set the tone for late-night television, with his relaxed, conversational style influencing generations of hosts that followed. Despite his fame and success, Carson remained a private person, preferring to keep his personal life out of the spotlight. He retired from The Tonight Show in 1992 and spent his remaining years in relative seclusion, passing away in 2005. Today, Carson's legacy lives on, not only in the many talented performers he helped launch, but also in the countless memories he created for audiences around the world. His ability to make people laugh, even in the face of adversity, is a testament to his enduring appeal, and a reminder of the power of humor to bring us together. Born in 1925, Johnny Carson grew up in Nebraska, surrounded by modest surroundings. His father, Homer Lloyd Kit Carson, worked as a power company manager, while his mother, Ruth Hook, was a homemaker. As a young boy, Carson found solace in magic tricks, 
which would later become a lifelong passion and a significant part of his television persona. Carson's interest in performing arts began during his high school years when he became involved in drama productions. He even served as the president of the dramatic club during his senior year. After graduation, Carson attended the University of Nebraska-Lincoln, where he continued to pursue his love for theater and broadcasting. During college, he hosted a radio show called The Squirrel's Nest, further solidifying his aspirations in entertainment. After serving in the U.S. Navy during World War II, Carson returned to his studies and graduated with a degree in speech and drama in 1949. Following his collegiate career, he moved to California, hoping to find success in the burgeoning television industry. Along the way, Carson encountered several influential figures who shaped his path towards becoming one of America's most beloved entertainers. One crucial figure in Carson's life was Red Skelton, a popular comedian and variety show host during the mid-20th century. When Carson first started working on The Tonight Show in 1962, Skelton offered guidance and support. Through Skelton's wisdom, Carson learned valuable lessons about pacing, timing, and connecting with audiences, skills that ultimately made him a household name. Another essential influence in Carson's professional journey was Jack Benny, another legendary comedian known for his dry wit and impeccable comic delivery. Benny's style resonated deeply with Carson, inspiring him to develop his unique brand of humor characterized by subtle sarcasm and self-deprecation. Over time, Carson cultivated these traits, creating a lasting impact on late-night television viewers across generations. Growing up in Nebraska, Johnny Carson's interest in entertainment began at an early age. As a child, he would often put on puppet shows for his family and neighbors, captivating them with his performances. His mother encouraged his creativity by giving him a magic kit for his birthday when he was eight years old. This gift sparked a lifelong fascination with magic tricks and illusions. During high school, Carson started performing magic acts at local events and venues. He even hosted a radio show during his senior year, further solidifying his love for entertaining audiences. After serving in the Navy, Carson enrolled at the University of Nebraska-Lincoln, where he studied speech and drama. During college, he continued honing his skills as a magician and performer. A significant turning point came when Carson performed stand-up comedy at a nightclub in Los Angeles while still attending university. Recognizing his potential, the club offered him a permanent spot, which led to more opportunities in the entertainment industry. With determination and hard work, Carson eventually made it to New York City, landing roles on television shows like The Tonight Show and Who Do You Trust? before ultimately becoming the host of The Tonight Show starring Johnny Carson, where he left an indelible mark on American television for decades. Born in 1925, Johnny Carson's journey to becoming a beloved talk show host was filled with obstacles. Raised in a modest family, finances were often tight. As a young boy, he worked various jobs to help support his family. But despite these hardships, Carson found solace in humor, often entertaining friends and family with his jokes. Carson's dream was to pursue a career in comedy, but this path was not easy. He struggled to find work in the entertainment industry, facing numerous rejections along the way. Many doubted his potential, including some of his own teachers who urged him to choose a more stable career. But Carson remained undeterred. Determined to succeed, he continued to hone his craft, performing at local venues, and perfecting his comedic timing. Eventually, his persistence paid off when he landed a job as a writer for the popular television show The Tonight Show. This opportunity allowed him to gain valuable experience and connections in the industry, despite initial doubts from both himself and others about his ability to host a successful talk show. Carson took over as the permanent host of The Tonight Show in 1962. Under his leadership, the show became one of the most popular and iconic programs in television history. For 30 years, Carson captivated audiences with his quick wit, charm, and humility, making him a beloved figure in American culture. Throughout his career, Carson faced many obstacles, but he never let them stand in his way. Instead, he used his creativity and determination to turn those obstacles into opportunities, leaving behind a legacy that continues to inspire aspiring entertainers today. In 1956, Johnny Carson's career reached a turning point when he became the host of the NBC game show, who do you trust? This opportunity allowed Carson to hone his quick wit and interview skills, which would later become his trademark on The Tonight Show. By 1962, Carson had already made a name for himself as a talented comedian and host. However, it was his move to The Tonight Show that truly solidified his place in television history. 
Under his leadership, the show's ratings soared, making it a staple in American living rooms for decades. One of Carson's most memorable moments on The Tonight Show came in 1973 when he shared a tense yet hilarious exchange with comedian Don Rickles. The exchange showcased Carson's ability to think on his feet and handle unexpected situations with grace and humor. Carson's impact on the world of television was not lost on his peers and collaborators. Comedian and actor Steve Martin once said, there's no way to calculate how much Johnny Carson has influenced comedy in America. Meanwhile, comedian and talk show host David Letterman, who succeeded Carson as the host of The Late Show, has often cited Carson as a major influence on his own career. Carson's career was marked by numerous accolades, including six Emmy Awards and the Presidential Medal of Freedom. However, it was his ability to connect with audiences and make them laugh that truly set him apart. As comedian and actor Billy Crystal once said, Johnny Carson was the gold standard. Johnny Carson's artistic vision was shaped by his humble beginnings in Nebraska. As a young boy, he found solace in performing magic tricks, which sparked his interest in entertaining audiences. This early passion led him to pursue a career in show business, eventually landing him the role of a lifetime as the host of The Tonight Show from 1962 to 1992. Carson had a unique ability to connect with people through humor and warmth. He approached each show with careful preparation, studying his guest backgrounds and interests to create engaging conversations. His laid-back demeanor put both celebrities and viewers at ease, making the show feel like a casual gathering among friends. One aspect that set Carson apart was his talent for improvisation. While he relied on scripts and cue cards, he often deviated from them, responding spontaneously to unexpected moments or audience reactions. This skill kept the show fresh and unpredictable, contributing to its lasting appeal. Moreover, Carson's Midwestern roots influenced his perspective and material. He frequently poked fun at everyday situations and ordinary objects, appealing to mainstream America. By avoiding controversial topics, he created an inclusive environment where everyone could find common ground and laughter. Throughout his tenure on The Tonight Show, Carson remained dedicated to honing his craft. He continually refined his delivery, timing, and facial expressions, ensuring that every joke landed effectively. Even after decades on air, he never grew complacent, always striving for excellence in his performances. In summary, Johnny Carson's artistic vision revolved around connecting with people through genuine conversation and relatable humor. His down-to-earth personality, combined with his knack for improvisation and attention to detail, made him one of the most beloved talk show hosts in television history. Johnny Carson was a true trailblazer in the world of television, leaving a lasting impact on the industry and those who followed in his footsteps. As the host of The Tonight Show from 1962 to 1992, Carson became a household name and a cultural icon. Carson's contribution to the industry cannot be overstated. He is widely regarded as one of the most influential figures in the history of television, with his impact still felt today. According to industry expert Robert Thompson, Carson was the gold standard for late-night television. He set the bar for everyone who came after him. Carson's influence extended beyond just his own show. He was known for his quick wit, his ability to ad-lib, and his rapport with his guests. These skills inspired a generation of comedians and talk show hosts, including Jay Leno, David Letterman, and Jimmy Fallon. Carson's impact on storytelling was also significant. He had a unique ability to connect with his audience, making them feel like they were part of the conversation. He was a master at delivering monologues, often using current events and pop culture as fodder for his jokes. His storytelling style was conversational and relatable, making him a favorite among viewers. Carson's influence can also be seen in the way he paved the way for future talk show hosts. He was one of the first hosts to incorporate comedy into his show, helping to create the format that is still used today. He also set the standard for interviews, often engaging in candid and entertaining conversations with his guests. In addition to his influence on the industry, Carson also had a profound impact on those he inspired. Comedian Jerry Sinefeld, who was a frequent guest on The Tonight Show, once said, Johnny Carson was the single most influential person in my career. He was the gold standard, and I always aspired to be good enough to be on his show. In conclusion, Johnny Carson's contribution to the television industry and his influence on trends, techniques, and storytelling cannot be overstated. His impact is still felt today, and he will always be remembered as a true legend in the world of television. Transitioning to Johnny Carson's personal life, 
The legendary TV host was known for his humility and love for privacy. Despite his fame, Carson avoided the spotlight outside of his professional sphere. He was a family man who cherished his time with his wife and children. Carson's values and interests often found their way into his work. He had a deep appreciation for comedy and was known for his quick wit and dry sense of humor. His love for magic also made its way onto The Tonight Show, where he often performed tricks for his guests and audience. In addition to his passion for entertainment, Carson was also deeply committed to philanthropy. He was a longtime supporter of the Boys and Girls Clubs of America, serving as their national spokesperson for many years. Carson also donated millions of dollars to various charities throughout his lifetime, including the Juvenile Diabetes Research Foundation and the American Red Cross. Carson's philanthropic efforts extended beyond monetary donations. He was also known for his generosity with his time and talents. For example, he often performed at charity events and galas, using his platform to raise awareness and funds for important causes. Carson's personal values and interests not only enriched his life, but also had a profound impact on his work and the world around him. His commitment to philanthropy and his dedication to making a difference in the lives of others will always be remembered as an essential part of his lasting legacy. Johnny Carson's impact on the entertainment industry, particularly as the host of The Tonight Show, is still felt today. He was known for his quick wit, charm, and ability to connect with audiences. His legacy includes setting the standard for late-night talk show hosts and leaving behind a body of work that continues to entertain. For those looking to follow in Carson's footsteps, he offered some valuable advice never continue in a job you don't enjoy. If you're happy in what you're doing, you'll like yourself, you'll have inner peace. And if you have that, along with physical health, you will have had more success than you could possibly have imagined. This wisdom applies not just to hosting a talk show, but to any career path. As for the future, it's essential to stay true to oneself while adapting to changing times. In Carson's case, he recognized the importance of evolving with technology and embracing new formats. While television remained his primary platform, he also explored other mediums, including film and stage performances. Carson once said, I did what I could do, which was to try to be amusing and informative and entertaining. That's all I ever tried to do. Aspiring professionals can learn from Carson's humility and dedication to his craft. By focusing on personal growth, continuous learning, and staying grounded, one can build a lasting legacy in any chosen field. Johnny Carson, born in 1925, was a man of many talents. He started his journey in the world of entertainment as a magician, captivating audiences with his charm and wit. In the 1950s, he transitioned to television, hosting several game shows before finding his true calling as a talk show host. In 1962, Carson took over the helm of The Tonight Show, a role he would hold for the next 30 years. His reign was marked by his innovative style and quick humor, which resonated with audiences and made him a household name. He was known for his ability to engage with guests from all walks of life, from politicians to actors to athletes, making them feel at ease and drawing out their best stories. Carson's impact on the entertainment industry cannot be overstated. He paved the way for future talk show hosts, setting the standard for what a late night talk show should be. His humor was often imitated but never duplicated, and his ability to connect with audiences on a personal level was unmatched. Despite his success, Carson remained humble and grounded. He was known for his kindness and generosity, both on and off the screen. He was a mentor to many young comedians, giving them their big break and helping to launch their careers. Carson's legacy lives on, not just in the world of entertainment, but in the hearts of the millions of people who watched him night after night. His ability to find humor in everyday life, to connect with people from all walks of life, and to remain humble in the face of success is a testament to the power of creativity and perseverance. So the next time you find yourself laughing at a joke or connecting with someone you've never met before, think of Johnny Carson, remember the power of creativity and perseverance and the impact one person can have on the world. Without a doubt, Johnny Carson was a true trailblazer in the entertainment industry. With a career spanning over five decades, he left an indelible mark on the world of television. His work as the host of The Tonight Show, starring Johnny Carson, solidified his place in history. Carson's humor was always spot on, and his ability to connect with audiences made him a beloved figure. He had a unique talent for making people laugh, and his interviews with celebrities and newsmakers were always entertaining. Throughout his career, Carson received numerous accolades, including six Emmy Awards and a Presidential Medal of Freedom. 
His impact on the entertainment industry is still felt today, and his legacy continues to inspire new generations of performers. What do you think about Johnny Carson's work and legacy? Share your thoughts in the comments below. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more content celebrating the creative spirits shaping entertainment. Let's keep the conversation going and honor the incredible contributions of this talented actor and comedian. So, what was your favorite moment from Johnny Carson's career? We'd love to hear.